Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Chase Bank and Wells Fargo and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you transfer money from your Chase account into your Wells Fargo account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to send money from your Chase account into your Wells Fargo account? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you decided you're going to use only one account and you're consolidating into your Wells Fargo account. Whatever the case is, a pretty easy process and it's handled here in your chase app it's this blue and white one right here check my video description i'll try to leave the written instructions there as well but i'm going to open up my chase account now okay guys i went ahead and opened up my chase account this is the home screen now here on the home screen if you want to transfer money from your chase account into your wells fargo account what you want to do is click on this pay and transfer button down here on the bottom left once you click there you will see the six options at the top and you want to click on this button here called transfer it has two little arrows next to it all right once you click there you're going to see this pop-up down here today we are transferring money from our Chase account into Wells Fargo. So we're going to do an account transfer. Okay, so here is where you can go ahead and transfer money from Chase into Wells Fargo. First, you need to choose how much you're going to transfer. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do a little bit. Next, you want to click on this blue button here called choose an account. Okay, so once you click there, you will see all of your Chase accounts. So you can choose where you would like to transfer money from Chase. So I'm going to use my checking account right here. Okay, so once you've chosen the account, you're going to click on this button, choose an account next to where we are going to transfer money to. Okay, so Wells Fargo is an external account outside of Chase. So we're going to need to add this Wells Fargo bank account in by clicking on this add an external account button. Okay, so this is really important. So in order for you to transfer money from Chase into Wells Fargo, Chase has to verify that is your bank. And there's actually two different ways you can do it. You can do an instant account verification. So basically you would be logging into your Wells Fargo account or you can add it manually. The thing is, if you add it manually, you will need the routing number and account number for your Wells Fargo account. And what's going to happen is Chase is going to deposit two small transactions and then also withdraw those two small transactions. And that could take two to three business days. So it's a little bit slower of a process. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and verify immediately. So I'm gonna search for my bank and we're using Wells Fargo. Okay, next you do need to agree to instant account verification and click on this blue next button. Okay, next Wells Fargo opens up a browser inside the Chase app. So you need to log in with your username and password. Okay, so I logged into my Wells Fargo account. They're asking for additional verification. This could be different depending on which bank you bank with, but usually they're going to send a text message or an email. So let me click on this red continue button. Okay, so Wells Fargo is going to send me a text message to verify it's me that is connecting my Wells Fargo account into my Chase account. So I'm going to click on this get code button. Okay, next I did receive a text message code. So I'm going to enter that in here. Okay, so next you get to choose what information you want to share with Wells Fargo. So you can check all or choose individual. Once you're done, scroll to the bottom. Once you scroll to the bottom, you want to click on this red continue button. Okay, next you have to agree to the terms and conditions and click connect. Okay, so next it jumps back here to verify you're going to connect your Wells Fargo Fargo account to Chase, and then you can give your account a nickname here if you'd like. Okay, so I gave it a nickname, and we're going to click on done, and then we're going to click on next here at the bottom. Okay, so here you want to make sure the information looks correct. If so, click on this blue next button. Okay, now it brings me back here. So now you can see my Wells Fargo account is now listed here as an external bank. So we can use this as the transfer to. So let me choose my Wells Fargo account. Okay, now we're almost set up. So next, you want to go ahead and check this box delivery method. We can go ahead and send this out, and it would go through immediately. And then next, you can choose when you want this transfer to go through. I'm going to do it same day. And lastly, you can go ahead and enter in what the reason is you're transferring money from Chase into Wells Fargo. This is optional, but I would recommend it. That way you can reference back later if you forgot why you transferred money from Chase into Wells Fargo. If all that looks good to you and you'd still like to go ahead and transfer money from Chase into your Wells Fargo account, click on this blue transfer button here at the bottom. Okay, next this confirmation screen pops up saying that I transferred money in this amount from Chase into Wells Fargo along with the transaction details here. I also received a message saying that my transfer has already gone through. So it went through almost immediately, basically kind of like a Zelly payment. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to transfer money from your Chase account into your Wells Fargo account, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.